Hey guys, I'm coming to you from the wilds of my backyard. Uh, it's been a while since I put out a video and it's just been really busy with work and a bunch of other plans have fallen through. But also the weather has been pretty much crap down here in southern Ontario. Uh, any snow we've gotten has immediately gone away in the next day. So I haven't been able to get up north to do any camping uh, or explore anything around this in the southern Ontario. So. Yesterday we had a massive snowfall um, and it's supposed to get a bit of rain tomorrow but it's supposed to then harden up and be cold uh, this coming weekend. So since I had to shovel my driveway and I have this big mound of snow in front of my uh, house i am decided I'm going to actually build a Quincy in my front lawn and maybe sleep in there this weekend. So that's the plan. So right now I do have a fairly good pile of snow. I'm going to add to it shortly let it sit, um, get some stakes at about uh, 6 to 8 inches to 12 inches long to stick in all over it and let that harden. Come Saturday I'll start digging it out and have maybe have a sleepover in it uh, this weekend. Uh, this allows me to actually build a Quincy which I wanted to do, have enough time for it to harden up as well as uh, if I have to escape to somewhere warm my living room's 15 feet away. You also may wonder why I'm actually choosing my front lawn. Um, the reason is, is I actually have two dogs and uh, there's far too many landmines in the backyard right now that I don't want to shovel. Plus, because I shoveled the front driveway, I already have a big pile of snow to work with. I could have piled more back here, um, but again, I didn't want to actually do more work than I have to if I, if I can help it. So this is the initial amount of snow that I'm going to work with. I'm just going to build up more snow on this backside here and raise it up. And I'm just going to use snow off my front lawn. So my new neighbor thinks I'm weird, not a surprise, uh, they just moved in. Had my old neighbor been here, uh, he would have probably joined me doing it. Uh, he did all sorts of outdoor stuff. But that's a good start of uh, what I want to accomplish for today. I'm going to let it sit and harden. Uh, tomorrow again it's supposed to rain but then freeze so hopefully that will give it a nice hard shell. Uh, I also got to get more sticks and stick in. So that when you're digging on the inside, you know how close you're getting to the outside edge. So they're all roughly six to eight inches long. That way you get a shell that's six to eight inches thick. So we'll see you in a couple days. So we had a warm spell the other day on Wednesday. Um, it's now Saturday. This is when I was going to start digging it out, but it has slumped down quite a bit because of the, the warm spell. And actually these sticks were all at the top level of the snow. So I'm going to pile some more on this morning. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm going to let it sit till about 2 o'clock before I try and dig out and make my sleeping spot for tonight.
because my handle is too uh, long on my shovel to get really into it, one of the things I'm going to use is this to help dig out the space. taken about an hour to dig it out. I'll show you the inside of it now. I don't know how well the dynamic range is on this camera, but there were a few spots that I got a little close to the edge, but just for reference, I'm lying flat on my back, got a couple inches to the wall there. And then, right, you can see it, about a foot above my head. So a fairly big space. Um, so a little later today, I'm going to put down my sleeping mat and everything, um, just so it's all ready. So yeah, so far, so good. So one thing about wool is snow typically brushes right off of it. So I'll, I'm a little damp, but not too bad. Um, there's a bit of a breeze. It's about minus 10 to 15 right now, uh, so it will dry out. I brought the headlight out just in case we needed it when we were inside, but uh, the camera, this other camera did a good job picking it up. So we'll see you later when I put in the bed. So I'm gonna use two sort of reflective mats or uh, blankets that will help protect me from a bit of the cold. This one I picked up from Amazon not too long ago. It's got the nice reflective material. It helps reflect my body heat back up into me. The other one's just a, a blanket from the entire, I believe. A picket blanket just for added isolation from the snow. Now what you shouldn't do, uh, which I could do in the summer, is these are self-inflating, but breathing into it now, you put air, moist air into it obviously, and then it would freeze and crystallize and lessen the uh, insulation value of it. So I'm just going to leave it for now and uh, 
I'll bring in my sleeping bag a little bit later. You know, it's quarter at 11 now. I've made my way in here. Managed to get in. Knocked a little bit of snow into my bag as I got in, but that happens, unfortunately, with these. It's a fairly low ceiling, so it's not unexpected. Um, current temperature I got in here is about minus 3, minus 4 degrees, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's a bit colder outside, I believe, tonight. It should be around minus 8, I believe, tonight. And this might warm up a little bit with my body heat. Um, so, yeah. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll give you an update. Uh, but I expect to sleep right through till morning. So, have a good night, guys. I'll, I'll let you know how it worked out in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, it's 6 o'clock. Um, made it through most, most of the night. Uh, didn't really wake up that often. There was a few times I woke up. Took a little while to get to sleep. Um, as much as I know I trust the shelter and everything, you hear a little rumble or anything, and the first thought is that maybe it's going to collapse, which inherently I know it's going to be fine, but you still get that in the back of your mind. And Yeah, it's snow, but the weight of the snow, if it all comes down on you, People have suffocated under snow, obviously in avalanches and everything that, like that. So you get that going. So it took a little while to actually fall asleep, I'll admit. Uh, but once I did, I think I woke up once at 3, and then I was back asleep again at 6. The one thing to note, that body heat in here has actually raised the temperature uh, to... It's just below freezing, or at freezing right now. And based on the condensation and... and this has melted a bit, uh, the ceiling, so body heat alone has already warmed this area up, so I was not cold at all last night. Um, the one thing that I do have to do is or look at is a new uh, Thermarest. I believe this one has a slow leak because there were a few cold spots when I was first lying down, and I'm feeling a bit this morning where um, my body pressure is obviously pushing through the mats. Um, so I can feel a little bit of cold spots, um, pressure points, just because uh, it's obviously lost a bit of air overnight. So, But otherwise, it was all good night, so nice quick short video. If you like it, um, I do, I'm do. i hoping to get out hot tenting this winter, I just haven't found a weekend yet. But enjoy the videos, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Again. Thanks a lot. See you next time. It's like being born.